What are you doing? Opening a box of snakes. No. Oh. Okay, I'll stop opening. Today's video is going to be about introducing you guys to a few animals that have never really been introduced officially on the channel, yet we have them here. So the first one that is joining the snake discovery family today is in this box, and then we're going to introduce you to two other snakes we already have, but you haven't met yet. I've got a letter with it. Aww, I just wanna make sure there isn't any like info that shouldn't be shown on camera, but we're, oh, there's a the phone number. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna show the phone number. But Morgan was unable to keep two of her snakes. They're both in this box. One is very special that we are going to keep ourselves and use in a breeding program. It's something we've been looking for for a while. And the other is an animal that she was also unable to keep and we will be able to add it to our adoption program and find it a really good home. So it looks like she sent a whole note. Okay, thank you so much for taking these babies. Okay, first snake, very spi- Oh, the one we're keeping is very spicy. He has never not struck at bitten me. I use a hook. Right, okay, well, let's see. Going bare yep, let's see if he's as bad as she said. As he is. You came in earlier today? Yes, they were delayed a day. Everything, as far as reptiles go, it seems like they always get delayed a day at the Indianapolis yeah. FedEx hub. So I don't know what they're doing Come over on, there. Indianapolis, get your together. Yeah, oh. reptiles are like known for getting stuck in Indianapolis for some reason. All right. Okay, which is which? Let's see. I'm gonna. That seems like I, I bet you should do this one first. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, this is this one first. This is the one we're keeping. So yeah. we'll do him next. So we'll do this guy first. This is the one that's getting added to adoption island. Let's see if I can untie this pillowcase. According to her note, this one is the sweetest boy. He'll just chill with you all day if you let him. I'm reading your notes. Uh, he is, oh, he's a morph. Ooh, fancy morph. Okay, out of Texas. You have to untwist a little bit more. Oh, yep, look at that. So not only does this not keep the reptiles in, it keeps the Emily's out. Yeah, exactly. Look wow. at that. Hey, buddy. He is a Sterling morph, so it's super pastel and cinnamon. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Hello. She purchased him at the 2021 Anaheim Reptile Expo. He's eating frozen thawed small rats and will eat anything you give him. His name is Arlo. Yeah. Oh, hi, Good. Arlo. Hey, buddy. You are gorgeous. Oh, he looks really healthy, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll read the rest of the note. I noticed there was something about him uh, coming in sick originally or her getting him sick. So we will def definitely be doing a very in-depth health inspection on him as we do with everything else that gets surrendered to us. And then after a quarantine period, making sure he's healthy and eating, we'll be able to adopt him out. So Arlo, we're not keeping you. You are beautiful, though, and we can find you a really good home. So, okay, there's Arlo. And this is the first snake in today's video that will be officially introduced to you guys on the channel. Oh, I haven't even seen him yet. I should no. probably, well, I trust her, but I should also, as you always do, make yeah. sure I know what, I can see what it is. Yep, he is what was expected. Very spicy, apparently. This is... <gasps> a little bit of shed there. A scaleless snow Aww. corn snake, and he shed in transit. Yes, he did. Wow. <laughs> he's still shedding in transit. Are you feisty? Are you as sassy as Morgan says you are? Oh, we're are you shy. A boy? I want to say if you're a boy. Are you a boy? Oh, yeah, you're a boy. Definitely. All right. So the reason why we're keeping him is because we have, as many of you know, sunny side up the albino scaleless corn snake from South Mountain Reptiles, and we've been keeping our eyes open for a compatible this male. Is me. You should shed this. He might need a soak to yeah, get that off. Yeah, he might off. need a soak. <laughs> okay. Usually, uh, yeah. the scaleless snakes seem to shed just as well as others, but in transit, I mean, yeah. humidity conditions aren't Nobody perfect. Nobody sheds well in transit. No, why did you have to shed in the box? Was that the right time? He hasn't struck at us yet. Uh, okay. What's his name? Uh, this is Moby Dick, because mm -hmm. he was a... Well, okay, we'll end yep, it there. There we go. His name's Moby. <laughs> His name is Moby, short for Moby Dick. Okay, so she actually said we named him Moby Dick because he was my white whale as I could never find a scale of snow morph and finally found him. That and Moby Dick because he's white and well, frankly. Okay, yeah, yeah so she go. came to yep. the same conclusion we did. He was produced in 2021. I don't have an exact hatch date as I purchased him secondhand at the 2022 Pomona Reptile Expo. Oh, we were at that show. Oh, yeah. Wow, she it's bought really him pretty. at that show. Okay. Really scaleless. He is beautiful. He's eating frozen thawed small adult mice. All right. So, buddy, you are beautiful. 
beautiful. You're right. This is a really nice scaleless. Mm -hmm. You can like see his backbone and muscle lining there underneath the oh, skin. That's weird. Can you see his heart? I mean, that's why. Well, I we... guess that would be under like the the muscles covering it up. So it would be his, the scales are. Oh, maybe if I do I have my phone on me. Let me put a flashlight behind him. All right, let's see. We Found have a, a flashlight. We have a flashlight. It should be his heart should be around a third of the way down his body. So I wonder if I shine this behind him if we can find it. Oh, nothing yet. Oh, I may have missed it. Yeah, I think we missed yeah, it. Yeah, we're too far down. Okay, sometimes it's further up than you'd think. Let's start. Oh, there it oh, is. That black mass at the That's bottom. That's it. There. Okay. Oh, weird. You can see it beating. At least I can from my oh, angle. Yeah, I oh. can't see it beating, but. Oh, so that's weird. so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, that's why we held back the scale as we produced. Scro I mean, wrinkles. Yeah. Uh, because you could see his heart beating and then he turned orange. But he, you can still see his yeah. heart beating because he's a snow morph. So if you're not familiar, the term snow morph basically means he's an albino and an anorthristic or anery. So those combined, the albino removes black pigmentation, debatably amelanistic, and the anorthristic morph or anery, anery, removes the yellow or red pigmentation. I thought it was exanthic. Well, it's exanthic in many other snakes, but in corn snakes, they call well, it anery. Of course, we have to be different. <laughs> yep. Uh, there might be a genetic difference too, and that's why they're sure. actually called. Or maybe it's just corn snake people doing something. We also called things co-dominant for a long time, and it yeah, wasn't co-dominant at all. So, so he is beautiful. If he breeds with Sunny Side Up, who is really close to breeding size, actually, uh, I don't want him in the same video because he's brand new. We want to quarantine him first. But if he breeds with Sunny Side Up, all their babies will be scaleless and amale and het anery, actually. Okay. Because she is not het anery, yep. so there wouldn't be any snows. But anyway, they have the potential to make some really pretty babies. And I think both of them are one year away from breeding. So, oh my gosh, we're going to have some really pretty corn snakes soon. So that is the first snake we'd like to introduce you to in today's video. Thank you, Morgan, for sending Moby Dick over to us. And again, we will be able to find Arlo a wonderful home through the Adoption Island program. Okay, and for the second part of today's video, which uh, a long time ago, we unboxed that scaleless corn snake. He's doing wonderfully. He's a great eater. He is amazing. A little feisty, but not too bad, all things considered. I was expecting him to be much worse. But now we have from Courtney, one of our fans in Washington, Washington is unable or was unable to keep her hognose collection. So she asked if we'd be willing to take them in so that she can see like video updates on them and get, get updates. Courtney, you are welcome to email us whenever you'd like. I'm happy to give you updates, but first we've got to unbox yeah. these hognoses. And we don't have to cross anything out because that's our FedEx hub location. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> All right, we have two big boxes with hog they're noses. Heavy too. They are heavy. Like I was expecting wow. a lot lighter for some reason, but they are heavy, and heavy boxes. Yes, they are. Let's open box number one. I don't quite know what's going to be in each one. Let's see. There's a note. There is a note. Notes in other box is what oh, the note says. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a surprise Sweet, we box. We can open up the yeah Ooh, random I, one first. I hear hissing. Do you hear hissing? Do you think we should open the other one first to get the note? I mean, we could try and see what we could see first. Okay. Yes, the morphs. Oh, just guess? Then, yeah. Okay, sounds good. She did give me a list, but I can't remember everything off the top of my head, yeah. so that sounds like a fun game. She also zip-tied the crap out of those. Oh my gosh. Well, they definitely are not going to escape these bags. We're going to take out the angriest one first. We got Allie in here someplace. Oh, there she is. See her little tongue underneath the table. Oh, yeah. Where, where did she go? Oh, I see a foot. She's on the other side. There she is. Did you open it finally? Yes. Okay. Here's hognose number one. Ooh, Ooh that looks toffee belly. This looks albino to me. No, oh. oh, we have a male. Oh yeah, never mind. Male albino. That's a deep, is wow. it a red albino? Oh, that might be a red albino. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, this one's name is Voorhees. Voonhees? Oh, we'll see. Is it upside down? No. Okay, so Voorhees or Voonhees? I would guess Voorhees from uh, the Halloween, not Halloween. Um, I don't know the Jason name. Jason Voorhees? Sure, I yeah. don't know. It's a cute name. I don't get the reference, but he is a good looking albino hognose snake. This is a nice breeding size adult male too. Wow, he might have heads as well. You know the you know the Halloween movie with the mask and the, the machete? Yeah. Killer? Him, Voorhees, that's oh. Jason Voorhees. Oh, okay. That would be my guess. That's gotta be the name then, okay. All right, so this first one. Next Just is... Just a red albino is what I'm going with. Beautiful red albino, yep, that's my guess too. This Aww, is... Allie pooped on the floor over Aww, there. Oh, Allie, did you have to poop? 
great. She's like, I can't get to the bathroom, guys. <sighs> awesome. Next snake is named Ben. So let's see what kind of snake Ben is. I heard a little hiss, so we are a hognose. If I remember correctly, there are a couple of snakes that aren't hognoses in here for us to adopt out to good homes. Here's Ben the hognose. Oh, Looks like a normal. A normal? Yes. Male. I assume male with the name, but yep, yeah. that is a boy. Okay. So probably het for a Zampic. I'm going to guess het for albino. Okay. We'll see. Okay, I brought a wire snippers because nice. that's a lot easier to cut with it, that. It helps scissors. a lot. Okay, hog nose. This one's name is Joy. Joy. Okay. It's a female. Probably a female. This one is. Oh, is that a toffee belly? Maybe. How's its eyes? What color is its eyes? Yeah, Reddish? I think that is. What's yeah. its belly look like? Yep, that's totally a toffee. Wow, nice. Yeah, we got that nice orange belly or that brown belly. Yeah, that's a be. Are you a paradox? No way. That's look at that spot. Slightly. Is that poop? No, that isn't poop. No, she's got some more up there. So it might just be something with the toffee. Weird, maybe. Uh, Whoa. That, that's poop, never mind. Oh yeah, is it? No, I think that's her color. Weird. Are you a kind of a paradox to toffee belly? You're beautiful. What's the, what's the female you? for sure? Yep. Yeah, it's definitely that's a female. A female. That's a long tail wow. female though, wow. She's beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, Joy is a gorgeous toffee belly something or another. All right, you can sit, stay in here, nice and comfy. Yep, then we got, who's next on the docket? Who's that? This one, let's see, it is, oh, it pooped. Oh, great. Oh, it really pooped. I do not see. A name? A name. Oh, and you're coming out. Oh, okay, hi. hello. She's like, I pooped in here, let me go. I guess we'll call her Poop Mama. Ooh, that's a Superconda. Oh, yes it is. That's a Superconda head toffee belly. Oh, that would make sense. Big wow, female. Wow, you are a big Superconda. Definitely a female, short little oh, yeah. tail. See, that's a super short conda. tail comparatively. Yeah. Wow. That's a chunky girl. Okay, we're calling her Poop Mama. Poop Mama. Because she doesn't have a name on the pillowcase and she pooped all over it. All right, well, we can throw that one in without the pillowcase. Okay, cause... yeah. Oh, here it is, oh. Umbra. Her name is Umbra. Look, it says Poop Mama. <laughs> Perfect. I want to keep them with their names so yes. I know who's who. There you go, Poop Mama slash Umbra. Ellipsa? Looks like it, yeah. Ellipsa? That one I didn't untie because it was just tied. Yep. Here we go. Ellipsa. What are you? Another hog nose. <gasps> Ooh. That is that? Oh, it's big. It's some big. chunky girl. Oh my gosh. Xanthic? I think huge. that's Xanthic. That's totally Xanthic. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's definitely a female. Wow, big Xanthic girl. Well, she's really? well bred too. Look at her nose. Oh yeah. So we're starting to notice, guys, that inbred hog noses, just over the many hog noses we've seen over the years, inbred hogs have either big eyes or their nose curves up too quickly. Yeah. And so if you want a really well-bred hog, or the sign of a well-bred hog that hasn't been More inbred. straight without the super kicked up nose. Yep, yeah, exactly. This is a really nice. So like the head is flat and then the nose kind of comes up. Yep, like exactly. Like a 30 degree angle. Yeah, so this is a really nice girl just because of her nose, honestly. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm a big nose freak. Yeah. You know. I bet that one's nose is harder than yours. Yeah, probably. <laughs> just cover her up with that. Okay, last one in here is Rin. Okay, Rin, what do you look like? We've got, yep, hog Ooh, nose. Wow, big, another big, big. Chunky girl. Oh, wow. wow. Weird. You're beautiful. She's about to poop. Oh yeah, yeah, she is about to poop. Look at that. Unless that isesn't like, is that an impacted scent gland? If that is, it's really impacted. Hmm, might have. It is really thick right here that too. One, we might have that Ooh, checked out. Yeah. I think I remember an email about one with an impacted scent okay. gland or something or another. And I think it was named Rim. I'll have to look back Rin. on the email. Rin, 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 yeah. Okay, so we will probably have you checked out and I'm gonna yeah, we'll refer to those emails you. too. But Rin, you're adorable. Yeah, look, look at that her, big squishy face. Her little face. Yeah. Oh, you're friendly too actually. Like surprisingly friendly. I'm gonna guess she's a normal Normal, but she has heads hmm. for I'm something. I'm gonna say completely normal. Completely normal? Okay. Yeah. We will find out soon. Now we get rid of that box. <laughs> and we wait for Emily to continue what she was doing because yep. I thought she was more done than she was. Look, yep. there's the note. Oh, the note. Okay, so let's find out what these six hog noses really were. Okay. Oh, we have some over here too. We have like the, oh. the feeding cards. I really don't have the words. I'm overwhelmed. Probably giving the little ones away. I just wanted to write a personal thank you. Oh, okay, so I won't read the entire thing. Oh, Courtney, I'm so sorry that you had to first off rehome these. Uh, but we are so humbled that you thought of us yes. for them. And I am happy, again, to give you updates whenever you want. Yes, so let's see here. We have names here. Nope. Umbra, was that one? Umbra was one, yep. Okay, that was Superconda, 66% Het Sable. Oh! 
Oh. Uh, bred to Superconda 66 head, per, er, head sable. So it could be, it's Superconda for sure, and it's what's 66 by 66 as far as genetics. So length. those are her parents? Her parents were that, yeah. Ah, okay, I gotcha. Let's see, so if both her parents were 66% head sable, then you just multiply 0. 0.66 times 0. 0.66. She's 43% possibly head sable. Okay. So that's Umbra. Oh, here's Voorhees. He's a red albino head example. Hey, red okay. albino, got it, okay. Ellipsa was a Xanthic head albino. Oh, okay. So we didn't get that one right completely. We got the Xanthic. All right, so we didn't find all the ones we already have over there. We found three of the six. Yep. So there's three we still have to figure out. Yeah. And so. I don't see cards for them, so we're gonna keep going and maybe we'll figure it out yeah. along if the way. If not, we'll just reach out to her. Yeah, well, I have an email, yep. I think, with it all written out. Or so. maybe there's some different names or something. Yeah. See how much easier that is when you have the right tool? <laughs> that was a lot easier, <laughs> yes. Do we have a name here? Yes, we do. This is Carrie, okay? Carrie, okay. Do we have a Carrie yes, card? Yes, we do have a Carrie. Okay. Carrie should be a female. Ooh, big enough to be a female for sure. Hello, Aww. beautiful. Okay, wow, what is your you. guess? Oh, you have a nice nose too. I'm gonna guess this is just a normal female with heads. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna go with too. Okay. So, so Carrie, Carrie is a snow so times a het snow. So normal het exanthic het albino. Okay, perfect. So yeah. double het snow. Double het snow. All right, nice. Okay. Okay. Next we have. Let's see. I will open. You have to this cut one. this wire first. Got it. There we go. And I have to cut the other side too, maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. What's the name? This one's name is. Oh, this one's little. This journey. is journey. 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 Okay. Journey is. A uh, nice little hog nose in here. Yep, we have a journey. Ooh, this is an Arctic or super Arctic or something. Wow, okay, yeah, the nice contrast Ooh, between the dark and the a, light. This is a fancy one. This is a nice hog, this is an expensive hog nose, wow. Uh, what do you think it is? I'm guessing this is a super Arctic het albino. It is a Arctic het toffee belly. Oh, wow, all right. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, we will put you in here. Born 7-3 of 20. I love all the information she's yeah. including. Oh my gosh. She also got it from North Market. This is just Arctic, not Super Arctic? Yeah, that's just regular old wow. Arctic. Oh, I didn't realize. Super Arctic. Arctic gets the circles around the, the bulges. That's right. The, they have the outlines around yeah, the, blotches. the blotches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next we have... I think it's oh, right. someone's Soul? hissing. Soul. Yep. Sal? Soul? Soul. We have a soul. soul. Okay. Soul here. I have a soul. <laughs> you have a soul? You I don't sold know. yours. A long yeah, time ago. I did. <laughs> wow, wow, that is a light albino. Oh my gosh. Is it? It's conda? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a conda albino. It looks like a male from the top. Yep, definitely a male. Okay. Wow, conda albino. I'm going to go conda albino. Het exanthic? Het exanthic, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm thinking too. Soul. It is a conda. Oh, uh, this one. Albino conda het exanthic. Hey, perfect. And it was a blonde albino. Oh, that's why it's parents. so light. Oh my gosh, yep. it's beautiful. From Wallflower herpetolo Herpetoculture. Wow, Soul, you are so pretty. Oh my gosh, and he's so tame. Yeah. He just wants to sit there. Yeah, he's a good Aww. boy. All right, what's this one's name? This one is Azerophil. Azeroplane? Azerophil, never mind. Azerophil, yeah. yeah. I have that one. Okay, Azerophil. So also, there's four in here, and we have four cards left, so we're just missing some cards. Oh, I guess so, okay. Yep. That, that, at least we're not going crazy. No. Okay, Azerophil. Okay, is no, another hog work. nose. Yep. Oh. I think they're all hogs, but I could be wrong. Oh, a conda! Wow, it's like purpley almost. Wow. Oh, you are sassy. Oh, look at that oh, sass. Oh, you've got the cheeks. So we got conda. Okay, definitely conda. I'm gonna guess conda het snow. I'm gonna guess conda het sable. Oh yeah, okay, let's all see. Right. We got conda. Azerophil. Yeah. Focus. Oh, and yep. male, male too, by the way. So conda het toffee by con or by toffee conda. Oh, those are the parents? Yep. Okay, so this one ended up being? Snow conda, 100% het toffee. Uh, it's not a snow. I think yeah. that says showing as oh, okay. conda, 100% so het toffee. Het toffee. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. I think that's what you guessed, wasn't no, it? No, I said sable. Oh, okay, that's right. But I still, had my oh, hopes up. A conda het toffee. Lots of toffee stuff, which is cool, because that I've toffee never... over there, oh, wherever she is, stunning. is stu yeah. that, that brown belly. Yeah. I've never seen one in person. So. I, well, we have one, uh, but it's still pretty young, so oh, I, I haven't seen have an older one. I thought we only had a het toffee. Yeah, no, we have a pair of toffees that we're raising up. Wow, though. We've never produced a toffee before, no. but that's like a dream. A goal is to that eventually RBE um, pastel. I actually want to see one of those in person. Oh yeah, because our pastel is just yeah, a normal our pastel. Looks yeah. Normal. <laughs> okay, so there's a Zephyl. A Zara feel. Okay. Yep. So we have three left. Three left. Which, if these are all hog noses, I don't think they're all hog noses. Okay, from what this is showing, from the ones I'm reading, really? I think they're all. 
They're all uh So this oh noses. is another little hog nose. Okay. This one's name is Crawley. Okay. okay. We do have a crawly tag. Oh look at you. Oh that's Hi, a crawly. Little guy. You've got a nice nose too. Wow, you are beautiful. Nice contrast. I think it's still a normal Let's see the belly. Okay. You think? Normal? I'm gonna say normal heads. Toffee. That's, I'm gonna go that with was going to be my guess too. Okay, male or female? Let's see. Male. Definitely a male with that long male. tail. Okay, yep. this one came from Little Little Fire's Gecko House. Okay. It is a male. Oh, it's an Arctic. Oh, wait. Is that, is that the pairing? Well, it says morph. Oh, I can see Arctic in that. Yeah, actually. Arctic 100% okay. het toffee belly. Okay, there we go. Arctic het toffee. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, so with the top, with the Arctic, which is one of the reasons why we didn't get into it when it was new, sometimes they look normal to us. And sometimes, as you can and see, they are stunning. They, I don't know where he is. I think he's... Right here. Oh, is he here? Yeah, sometimes they have that really good pattern and white walls, and sometimes they... Kind of look normal. Kind of look normal. But that's but, all right. Yep. There's variety in all the morphs. Exactly. Okay, we have two left. This is T. Well, See, I told two, you. The two that are left are Benedict or Joy Joy. Oh, Benedict is... Ben is short for Benedict. Oh, okay. Benedict. And Joy. And Joy is short for Joy Joy. Benedict was a green phase... Oh. Normal. Okay. Okay. And then Joy, or Joy Joy, was R.E.B. Pastel Toffee. Oh! So that toffee was, maybe that's why it was so pretty. It had R.E.B. Pastel in oh, it, too. Oh, so it was Pastel Toffee. So it cleaned toffee. up the ah, sides. That would make sense. Okay. So we do have all their tags. Yeah, we have a green so, face. T, so that means these two don't have tags. Yes. Okay, so we don't have any ID on them. T and Charles. Charles. Okay. T is, I'll let you guys peek with me. She is a milk snake. Aww. So this one she did tell us, because I was curious, maybe we could use it for a program animal, but she said it's kind of crazy. Aww. So hello. Oh, you're in shed. So you're going to yeah. be either crazier or surprisingly friendly right now. Yeah. You look pretty friendly at the moment. But we've got a Puebla milk snake. Yep. And this one, I guess. Male or female? Female. Looks to be a female. Yeah. So. Yeah. We do have a male. We produced Pueblins this we year. We did. We might hang on to her, maybe. I guess, for future breeding. Reading, so Allie is getting impatient by the way. She's starting to open up packages over there. Allie, you can't open the fan mail. She's like, but it smells so good in here. Dude, that's not for you. The chocolates are all mine. <laughs> and the last snake in today's unboxing video is Charles. Charles. Let's... Charlie. <laughs> Let's go to Candy Mountain, Charlie. I think we dated ourselves there. <laughs> Who else knows about Candy Mountain that's watching this channel? Yeah. If you know about Candy Mountain, comment another line that would comment. indicate. They took my spleen. <laughs> ah, they took my spleen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie is a ball python. Ooh, Charlie's pretty. Oh, wow, you are a beautiful ball python. And Charlie here is one that she wanted to surrender to either us to keep or to Adoption Island to find a really good home yeah. for. Does she Charlie. say what Charlie was? Like, what's that genetic stripe? Let me look it up quick. Okay, I found the email. Charles, 2019 ball python. He is a nuclear pinstripe, which is a cinnamon pinstripe butter fire. Oh, okay. Wow, he is cinnamon gorgeous. Cinnamon pinstripe butter fire. Yeah, he's beautiful. That he's so friendly too. Snake. Wow, I love the stripe down his back. Mm -hmm. If we had room for more ball pythons, I yeah. would want to keep him. But we have to tell ourselves in rescue, we can't keep everything. Yeah. Even though I mean, our staff iguana, encourages us, really want to so you right don't now. need to keep the iguana. Oh, he's so cute. We're not and keeping he him. Likes me. We need to find him a home no. so we have room for another rescue iguana. I don't care about another rescue <laughs> it's, iguana. It's very difficult in rescue to not keep everything, yes. honestly. Especially and, when you work with them. Charles, you are so friendly. Oh, he would make such a good ambassador animal too. Yeah. Uh, we have three already? We have three, four, blind intersection. Okay. We have four ball pythons already. We don't, we need, don't need more. We don't need more. Okay, but anyway, Charles. there but he we'll is. we'll still be able to find him a really good home. All right, it has been a few months actually since we received all these new wonderful snakes that we've unboxed and we figured we would round out or end this video with just a quick update on them. Here's Moby Dick, the snow scaleless corn snake from Morgan. He is doing very well. He's actually not really living up to the second half of his name like we were warned he would. He is a wonderful boy, a little bit of tail rattling here and there. He's an amazing eater. But he He's... doesn't bite or anything. No, yeah, he no. kind of looks at you like, what are you doing? Go yeah, away. Exactly. That's all he does. So he's doing really well and fitting in beautifully. We're actually prepping him for brumation so that yep. he can maybe breed, hopefully breed, with Sunnyside Up next year. Yeah. And as for the hognose snakes from Courtney, here is Vorhir? Vorhees. Vorhees. Um, this is the 
red albino head exanthic uh, hog, and we are also prepping him and most of the others for brumation that came from Courtney so that hopefully they can breed next year as well. So I'm sorry boys, you're not getting any more meals for a while. I know you're gonna be unhappy. All of the snakes we unboxed in today's video actually ate the very first time we offered food. Like they are all fantastic eaters. Every single hog nose ate for us the very first time. So they are all doing very well. They're adapting well to the new environment and they are officially part of the snake discovery family. So thank you everybody so much for watching today's unboxing video. I know we haven't had an unboxing video in a while so it felt kind of weird doing it. Hope you don't mind we did that instead of a baby video. Um, yeah, let us know which snake from today's video was your favorite. I am torn, honestly. There's so many great snakes. Yep. Um, thank you, Morgan and Courtney, for thinking of us when you were unable to keep your snakes. We promise to give them a really good home here at Snake Discovery, and we will try to keep you updated in video form as much as possible. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Patreon backers, as always, for your amazing support as well, and we'll see you next time.